When I was in middle school, my mom was diagnosed. She was diagnosed at 34. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1961 and subsequently died in 1967. Many of the stories start the same way, but each journey takes its own twists and turns, uniting families facing the risks of hereditary cancer. Our mutation is in one of the BRCA genes. Um, people who have mutations in BRCA genes have a hereditary risk for both breast and ovarian cancer. The BRCA1 gene mutation puts women like Katherine Whitley at an 85 percent greater risk for breast cancer and a 50 percent higher chance for ovarian cancer. My first surgery was in March of 2011 and that was a total hysterectomy. I woke up from that with, you have cancer. Catherine carried the gene but waited nearly a dozen years after her mother's death to get tested, something she hopes to prevent for her 19-year-old daughter Chloe, who may be positive too. We've been talking with her doctors for a few years now about when the right time is. Um, they said 25 originally. One of the myths about uh, hereditary cancer is that uh, you know only women can pass it along and, and the fact is that both men and women can have the gene mutation and both men and women can pass it along. Dave Bushman did pass it along to his daughter. Dave's mother and both her sisters died of cancer caused by the mutation at young ages. So his daughter wasted no time. And she took charge and made her decisions on how she wanted to handle it. Had a prophylactic double mastectomy, a prophylactic hysterectomy. It's horrible for a young woman to go through dramatic menopause at a young age. But then again, the other side of the coin is they stay alive. Rona Greenberg, along with the help of the Bushmans, runs the New Jersey chapter of FORCE. FORCE stands for Facing Our Risk of Cancer Empowered and is a support group. The nonprofit also holds conventions and most importantly, a shoulder for families faced with these tough decisions. I was kind of freaked out knowing that I had that in my family and then when I found out about the genes that you can be tested for, it made me feel a little better knowing there's something I can do about it. The vast majority of cancers are sporadic cancers. In fact, it's about 90 percent of all cancers, so FORCE wants to help those patients too. Research is a big part of the group's focus. 25 genes are now eligible for testing. It's important to note that every person carries the BRCA gene, but not everyone has the mutation. Doctors recommend that both men and women with family histories of cancer get tested by age 25 and follow up with regular screenings. In the newsroom, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.